Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, Allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly. 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 It's my birthday, so we're gonna sell, have a little celebrate ray with some Moe Nectar Imperial. Child, Chris turned me on to this last year. It's the official celebratory champagne. Isn't she great? Um, to the next 37. So since it's my birthday, I, I said, let me do a, a, a show that I wanna do. Jesus Christ, we even have to have sirens on my birthday. Next year, I'm going to the fucking beach. <laughs> so we're getting to the dragging. And right before this, when Nini said, I never met Kenya's African prince. And we got the line, so nasty and so rude. She was so nasty and so rude. But according to Instagram, you are, Heffa. You are. Kenya's sitting up there with the megaphone. I can, you can already see Portia twitching. The look on Phaedra's face when Kenya said, I'm successful, I'm accomplished. That's why people want Phaedra back because that was a real... Kenya, you don't laugh at other people's misfortune. And also, you would really want Phaedra or Portia to hook you up with somebody since you're having problems finding a man. And child, they could introduce you to all the men. You ain't gonna be able to keep them. Ooh, and it's so funny. She's talking about karma with the dissolution of Phaedra and Portia's marriage. Well, I guess karma came back around a few seasons later and tapped your ass or your ass implant. Kenya said, look, we ain't opening that can of worms because it's dead as the hair on his head. But uh, you, you was trying to rub that head. You was trying to marry that head with the dead hair. You wanted to cozy up to that toot. That raccoon he wore as a wig. Okay, so now it gets good. So Portia says, now look, Heffa, you done made fun of everybody else on this couch, but now you the victim. And Kenya says, well, you don't know what words mean, because I ain't nobody's victim. Then they get to talking over each other, and you really can't hear what anybody's saying. So Kenya whips out the bullhorn. And he's just looking like, ratings gold, ratings gold. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you're sitting there as a single woman because your man put you out on the street. Well, Kenya, facts are facts, and, and her address was the curb. Then Portia comes back with none of your men claim you, and then she goes with the rotten vagina. And I'm sorry, unless you didn't eat it, you don't know what it is. You don't know if it's fresh. You don't know if it's day old. You don't know if it's curdled. Were you down there, Portia? We, we know you like to snack on some snatch. And now Portia says, you're a slut from the 90s. And Kenya says, into the microphone, into the megaphone, rather. You are a dumb hoe. Shut up. And that's when Portia pop up. Ooh, Lord. Okay, so first, she gets so angry, she, she thought she could grab her. She ends up grabbing Cynthia's tit. Lord. If I was Cynthia, I would have sued her for misconduct. This boob just all out. Just, you know, just, it just wasn't expecting to be at the reunion, but there it was. I wish Hulu had slow momo. So both ladies are standing. Andy's trying to get betwixt them. And Kenya's like, you want to hit me? Yeah, go ahead. And then Kenya's on her, you will get fired. You will get fired. And Portia was like, well, you know what? I might just get fired. Because she grabs that head I mean, grab that head. Got a good chunk of hair. And he's like, no, 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 no. And down Kenya goes, like a grand sequoia. Ooh, I mean, Portia ain't letting go. Portia's falling onto the floor, still holding on to Kenya's head for dear life. She ain't smacking her, she just dragging her, a pure drag. So we have uh, Carlos King trying to get Portia off of Kenya. Everybody topples to the floor as Portia is still holding on. So they finally get them apart on the floor. Both ladies, backs on the floor, heels to the sky, getting their dresses all fucked up. And then Kenya, she's gone. She's fired. She's gone. She, Kenya, you clearly see you have no power here. Now be gone before someone 
drops the house on you. Wicked witch of the pest. Ooh, that's what she is. She is the wicked witch of the pest. That's what she is. She is a pest, a true pest. P-E-S-T, pesky. Pet, a pest, -t oh my God, a pest T. Child, you know, do we spray for Kenya or do you use a glue trap? Okay, so Kenya gets up and it's like, Portia, you're gone, you're done. Portia is still on the floor, back on the floor like an upturned turtle. Got to commercial, I'm gonna fuck her up. That's the line I always remember from this fight. Portia just on the ground, now she kicking and screaming. I mean, a true 40-year-old having a tantrum. Now we got Nene and her big hand over Portia's mouth. I'm sorry, don't put your nasty hand over my mouth. I don't know where it's been. I don't know how clean moose privates are. Uh-uh. Get that hoof away from me. Kenya said, I'm not going to sit here and get hit by somebody on TV. That's what you did, girl. You didn't even fight back. Kenya going back to her room. Portia is still on the floor. All the ladies low-key holding her ass down on the floor. Oh, my God. And then she tries to talk again, Nene. Clamp that hand, that hoof over that mouth. And now she's like, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. More wriggling, more kicking. She all about the kick and wriggle. Ha! Ah, ah, ah. Oh, God. The way they got Cynthia just sitting over on the couch, just cringing. Cynthia also is like, I ain't even getting over there. I ain't helping that heifer. She had already pulled my tit out. Probably got a sore nip. And now Portia's so embarrassed. Somebody in the chat said they felt bad for Portia. Um, I don't because you should have walked off and told production, I'm not going to be disrespected like that. That's when you don't even bring the issue to Kenya because Kenya's there to be an ass. This is what Kenya does. This is her job. This is in her job description. Again, Wicked Witch of the Pest. So your real issue should have been production. You should have said, no, look, Andy. And this is what we're not going to do. I'm not going to sit here and be this disrespected and have someone shout at me with a megaphone. And the fact that you would allow that means I'm really walking off. And you can have this reunion without me. Yeah, Portia was crying because she was scared she lost that coin. And she had just gotten put out. Lord, and then Carlos King picks her up and carries her like he about to take her over the threshold and consummate the marriage. And all this started because Kenya said Portia was cheating on her husband. Fascinane. That That's an interesting reaction because that is where all this started. That's what got her so upset. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. I mean, we know Cordell, if anything, um, wasn't interested in Portia. We could tell it from the booty toot video. We could tell it from the way they interacted on the show. We could tell it from the way he put her out with nothing. Nothing. He said, all I got is dick and bubble gum. And I'm fresh out of bubble gum. And you ain't getting this dick. Exactly. Whoever let Kenya bring the megaphone on stage, that's who needed the ass whooping. Because they set you up to be that disrespected. Production could have said, Kenya, no, put it away. Put it away. Somebody take that. We're not doing that. Edited it out and moved on. Oh, God. Then, um, so we... So Carlos has taken Portia to some little couch and Nene and Phaedra try to calm her down. Then he pick her ass up again. The heifer just had a little skirmish. Her legs aren't broken. Uh -huh. The chat said Carlos wanted to be on camera. Ha! Andy, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. Baby, you ain't shit. He walked in Kenya's dressing room. I'm so sorry that happened. Really? I guess it's like, hey, we let you uh, have that bullhorn up here and the stunt went wrong. Sometimes accidents happen when you're trying to pull a stunt. Andy, you were not sorry that happened. You were like, ooh, I can't wait to see this in post. Andy, your pint-sized ass ain't getting nobody away from nobody. I wish I could have gotten her away from you quicker. You ain't security. And hell, you can see they did not have security back then. Like, only Carlos King and Nene was trying to bust that shit up. And Andy a little bit. A little bit. Everybody else was like, I am not about to get hit for this shit. Mm-mm. Ooh, he tried so hard to keep a straight face. Now he running over to Portia's. And now Andy gonna ask Portia, what, what happened? 
uh, you allowed Kenya to disrespect her beyond the realm of reality show. Now, we know these ladies going to get up here, read shade, and say some nasty shit about each other. That's fine. That's what you expect. But the bullhorn, the scepter, the putting shit in people. Mm -mm. Now she whining about her divorce. People getting divorced. They ain't dragging everybody. But okay. Portia said, I blacked out. I didn't realize what was happening until I was laying on the ground. I don't believe it. I still think you, whenever you might be just vacuuming the house, you think about dragging her ass and you just bust out a knee slapping laugh. <laughs> Got her ass. That T. Now, Andy, you going to say to get physical ain't the way. What about letting other people disrespect, taunt, and provoke? That ain't the way either. Shade is shade, but probably KK is a moose of a different color. So Andy says, Portia, I, I don't think you're ready for the rest of the day. We only have one skirmish per three-part reunion, and that was it. Oh, God, now on part two, they gonna say, he gonna start with, we don't condone physical violence in any way. Yes, you do, otherwise you wouldn't have set Kenya up with them props. Hell, production probably gave them to her. All right, well, I'm gonna go celebrate my birthday, but I will see you soon. Happy 37th. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, allegedly. Don't blame, don't sue. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly.